Hello ladies and gents, another video brought to you by Ant's Hood. So guess who's back on my channel? Yeah, you got it, my Kera Bera Diversa guys. I have been after these for ages since mine sadly died of mics and now I've got some again. Yes. So some of you guys might have known or not known, but I've been in London for the past couple of days and I came home to find this little package. Yes, I've got them from Ant Antics and he's put some little soil in there for me, but this was something I didn't wasn't expecting, didn't order it and things like that but it's some jelly pots, uh, protein jelly pots as well, mixed with honey and stuff like carbohydrates like that. He's asked me to test them for him on some of my species, but that's all you're gonna see of these. We'll see how they get on and I'll feed it back to Antantix. But anyway, so we all know what Antantix packages look like. Awesome. But there is some changes of what is actually putting in these now. I completely understand why he's doing it, but I'll talk about that more in a second. Now, as I open this up, now Antantix is one of my Patreon supporters, but I order from them because I just love his quality of ants and I love his style of packaging and stuff like that. Now if you've opened it up now, you'll see that that's actually, I was going to say French, French. That's actually Welsh for hello and thank you for the support, I believe. No, thank you for the support. I am not going to pronounce that because the Welsh language is beyond me. But anyway, so we don't get care sheets anymore. We get this, but I'll talk about that more in a second. Uh, I think that's just an empty piece of um, padding for some reason. The standard thing he puts in about not putting them in gel nests. If anyone uses gel nests, you're a lunatic for a queen anyway. But this, this bit here is what we're waiting for. So as I gingerly open up the tissue paper, you'll see you still get those cards with the seal number, which is also on the end of the test tube if you want to check it out what species it is and stuff like that, which is always a nice little gesture, but here it is. Here is what we're waiting for. And look at the size of her. She is huge. There is a little bit of condensation forming, but I'm not too concerned. And let's take a look with a macro lens to see how cool she really is. I am actually keeping a very close eye on her because if you remember rightly, I didn't even realize my last Carabara had mites and they literally got decimated. There is a nice little pile of eggs there, which is awesome. So I'm, what I'm looking out for here is obviously to make sure there's no mites on it. I don't expect for one second there will be because obviously Rich is a really cool guy at Antics and I don't think he would uh, ever dream of sending any kind of ants with mites and stuff like that. But still need to check it out just in case because I didn't even notice my last one had mites. Here's just some debris that's in there. This is a cockroach which needs taken out, which I haven't done yet. Still haven't done yet, I need to get on that. But you also need to take the brood to this cockroach as well. Um, there is some brood there, which is cool. Now, one thing you'll notice about the queens, and I noticed this from my last Carabero that died, is that the queens are very chilled out. They don't run around scatty if you disturb them. I think they just stand there quite as still as she is now, to be honest, um, really, really still like a statue. So, now I'm not too concerned about her at the moment. She seems fine, and you can see here, there's a nice little pile of brood and eggs underneath her as well, which uh, obviously being protected by the workers make it extremely difficult for me to try and film it. Thank you very much, ladies. But you'll also notice that, that I've got a major as well, uh, and I've got a media worker behind her there, which is slightly out of focus. Now, the thing about these ants is they're extremely polymorphic. You'll get like majors like this, the, the minors, which are the little ones running around everywhere, but then you get the super majors, which are almost as big as a queen. And they literally, like they are with the queen at the moment, ride her like cavalry into battle, because when a super major comes along, it's like a tank and they all ride on top of it. It's quite funny to see. Hopefully I will with these girls. On my last video, I spoke about all the climate requirements for these girls. When I say my last video, my last Carabara video, the only one I did before they actually died off, to be fair. Um, I did it, I did all the stats on there about the climate requirements and stuff like that. But what I did say is you generally need to put these in a naturalistic setup with soil so they can dig and things like that. But I have been talking to Akushi over the past year about his Carabara and he has got them in an artificial setup, such as I think he uses MS nests for them and outworlds and stuff like that. So, I am going to brave it and see if I can raise these in an artificial setup. If it looks like they're doing pants, then I'm going to look at moving into a naturalistic setup. Look at look at her looking at us. She's so cool. She's so big as well. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking at doing going forward with these. But for the meantime, I'm going to set up a little um, little outworld for them. But before I get ahead of myself, let's go back to this QR code. Now, taking a picture, this is quite funny because you kept trying to send me to the website. Right pain, but I managed to get one in the end. <laughs> So anyway, if you scan the QR code, it takes you onto this website. 
Now it actually takes you to this website, which is what he used to print off and put in with his aunts. Now I completely get it to be fair, because me and another retailer, I can't think who it was actually, we're talking about this maybe last year about the cost implications of printing all this stuff off and it was quite high. So I completely get where he's coming from and why Antantics have decided to go digital with this rather than sending you a hard copy. And let's be honest, when we get the hard copies, we read it once and chuck it away. So, you know, I, I get it, I totally get it, but all the information you normally get, some background on the Carabera, and you get all the information, such as climate requirements, worker sizes and stuff like that, uh, diet and bite. Obviously, I don't want to get bitten, but I reckon a super major could probably draw blood, to be fair, because they are gnarly. But anyway, so all the information's here now, which is which is great, to be honest, and I imagine it will stay up there forever now because it's the interweb. So, yes, it's all online now. Kind of disappointed, kind of not. I don't know how I feel about it. No, I don't mind. Now, for their setup, I am going completely Billy Basic with it. I've got one of these Outworlds, which is an AliExpress one. They literally cost five pounds. They're not expensive at all. I've got a connector. These are all connectors are from Ant, Ant Canada. So, yeah, I still use some of his stuff, but just only not his nest. I think his connectors are really cool. And because you've got a test tube adapter and it fits in perfectly, all I need to do, is, which you can't see now, is pop off the... Um, the cotton wool and just slide it straight in so it's pretty easy for me to be honest and look here I do it check that out no escapees a first for Ant's hood he's connected something and no, no, no Ant's escaped wow pat me on the back people pat me on the back it's a rarity you'll also notice that I've put PTFE uh, uh, there's a barrier around it as well and that, the reason for that is the exact same reason that I've done it for my Solenopsis in my last video because they will stick stuff if you use the mineral oil to it and I think I even read on that information sheet that they'll eat it as well because they'll get the calories out of the oils on it so you're better off using PTFA so it dries on so they can't get past the barrier. Now as is a custom for me I am going to give them some honey water in one of my feeders and I'm going to give them a cockroach as well but you'd also notice that I've put the old cotton wool that used to be at the end of the test tube underneath the tube and that's just because it was quite a big gap and these miners are, are really small and like a couple of millimeters if that now the majors are going to be huge but the miners mm, I wanted to like give them something to walk down on as it were into the out world now I've put a t-junction here and I'm filming through the t-junction and the reason I've got a t-junction there is so I can expand it going forward without having to disconnect everything and escaping everywhere and as you can see here I've got an ant Canada and uh, look at that an Ant Canada stopper, and I've put, already put um, cotton wool in there just in case, but you can clearly see they can get through the air vents, the miners, that's how small they are. So be very mindful if you're using Ant Canada stuff, this may happen. If you do want all the climate requirements and information and stuff like that, if you didn't press pause early when I was hovering over it, by all means, check out my video on my first colony of Carabera that got mites and died sadly in the top right corner now because I've got all the climate requirements in there for them. Just be mindful, I said they need an electric setup and I'm gonna try with these an artificial setup using a Wakushi MS Nest when they're ready. Now, bearing in mind, I only got the Carabera today and filming this. I think I'm uploading it tonight as well. So all in one day, I've received them. I've done a video on them, a very quick one. That's why it's a bit Billy Basic. And I've done uh, released a video on them because I'm that excited about having them and that pleased that I've got them as well. I also picked up some uh, carpenter ants as well, but I might talk about them later on. Might not. Probably wait until I move them into their little wooden nesting that I've got for them. But I'll talk about that later, maybe. Who knows? But as always, I need to owe a super big, massive thanks for all my supporters on Patreon because you guys make my videos possible. So that's Adam W, Adrian, Antantics, Anton Arok, Antimatter, David D, Kevin R, Pavant, PJ Grant, and Wakushi. Without your continued support, guys, it, my videos wouldn't be what they are. So big thank you to you. And if you guys are interested in joining my Patreon supporters, by all means, check out the link in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, guys, if you like my videos. By all means, leave a comment, and I'll normally get back to most people that do leave comments. But anyway, I'll stop talking rubbish for now. You guys have a very good day, and I'll see you in my next video.